evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to the show, a card opening show. Guys, I just want to review a few things that I've been pur purchasing lately. Uh, never mind the voice. Got a lot of congestion going on. Um, anyways, I want to show a few things I'm picking up, and then we do have a redemption that just came in today from Tops. It's a big boy one. Really excited to see this one. Get into it and get take a look. Um, you know, first of all, guys, if you like this stuff, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Really would appreciate it. Other than that, let's get into this. Let's show what I've been picking up lately for singles. Um, I would advise everyone to go that way if you're going to do anything. Buy singles. Buy singles. It's the best way to go. Ripping's fun. I get it, but buy singles. Um, first thing I got here is actually just a raw card from Tops. Um, it's got Shaq and Kobe, Chris Webber. Backside, it's got Allen Iverson, Vince Carter, and Jerry Stackhouse. I think this was out of 2001 Tops, so yeah. It's just a pretty cool card. Um, the Hall of Famers on it, potential Hall of Famers on it. It's pretty cool. I just thought it was a pretty cool card. I think I paid a buck. <laughs> the penny sleeve and the top loader itself probably cost that. Um, pretty cool card. I like it. And next, I have been picking up quite a few actual Carl Malone cards. Here's a pretty rare insert card. Um, this is Stadium Club from 93, I believe. If I can see, no, 94. 94 Stadium Club. It's like an acetate card. It's pretty cool. Again, really cheap card. Maybe a buck or two tops. Um, there's a reason I'm picking up Carl Malone. Carl Malone is definitely uh, an undervalued product right now. And LeBron is going to get rated past him pretty soon. So Carl Malone's been on my pickup list. His stuff will go up here soon. We did get a 91. No, yeah, 90, 1990. Hoops Jordan. It's pretty good shape. Um, I just never took it out of the sleeve. It came in. Uh, I think I paid three bucks for this. Nothing crazy. But it looked like it's in really good shape. So I was like, I'll take a flyer on it. And then I saw this set out there. I tried to buy the complete set, but it went a little bit crazier than I expected quicker. Um, it's got the Looney Tunes with with uh, basically all the goats at the time. This is 1993 Upper Deck. They released this set. It's pretty cool. I get the one here with Joe Montana and Bugs Bunny. Looks pretty cool. Uh, if I can find more of these, I'm actually going to try to pick them up because I think this is something that uh, novelty-wise with the goats all over it, it's going to sell well. Uh, next one I picked up was just the regular Billy Ripken air card. You can see here it's blacked out. It doesn't have the <clears throat> phrase on it that you can see. Uh, pretty cool little card to have. Just fun. Like if you're a collector, it's one of those cards you want to have. Uh, let's see what we got here. Oh, Kyle Isbell. He's a Royals rookie. He's actually going pretty well right now. Uh, we got a lot of, I don't have all of them, but I got a lot of eight of these uh eight chromes and then eight uh bowman papers of kyle isbell um uh, so 16 total i think all together with shipping i paid 20 bucks for them um pretty cool card this is the refractor version i do have just the regular chromes as well um high hopes for this kid hopefully he does well and then we've got malik beasley i've been buying so much malik beasley it is getting to the point of ridiculousness uh, of course, I bought most of this stuff before he got suspended for his off-the-court off the actions, things that went on. Got a whole bunch of optic. Obviously, I was really big on picking up the optic stuff. Then we got the select. I think this is, yeah. Um, I'm trying to figure out which level this is. This is the mid-tier. It's the 176 on it. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, just a really cool card. And then we got another select. This one is the prism, the red, the red and gold prism on it. It's pretty cool. Um, number two, let's see if I can find the number on this. Maybe this one's not numbered. No, oh, I don't think this one is. I thought it was. Am I missing it somewhere? Guess not. Um, then we got some autographed RPAs of him, uh, out of limited. Ooh, I'm gonna sneeze. Hold it. Mm. 
Anyway, RPA of his, this one's numbered to 39 uh, out of uh, Limited, Panini Limited. <coughs> Sorry about that. And then we got Panini Gold Standard RPA. This one's to 49. Um, I'm pretty sure I paid 25 a piece for these two. The other stuff, anywhere from five, four or five bucks a piece. Um, I think the, this one I probably paid nine. And this one's probably in that same kind of range, nine. So lots and lots of uh, Malik Beasley that I've been picking up. I got this one in a break. I picked, I saw uh, Optic uh, with, I think it was eight blaster boxes of Optic with the Eagles going off on eBay with like 30 seconds left for like 15 bucks. Went ahead and got in there. I ended up paying like 17.50 for the Eagles. We did ha pull the hollow or the silver version of Jalen Hurts, which is pretty cool. Pays for the break and then a little more. Um, not big on Jalen Hurts, but it could be a big card someday. <laughs> Uh, some of the slabs I got, Final Authority, I don't even know who this is, but this is a Finest uh, Car Malone again. I, think, I know I paid like $3 for this, whatever it is. Um, I probably will crack it out of this at some point, um, see, what I, see what I can get, you know, see how it looks. I say surface is an 8, centering is an 8.5. I can see the centering definitely, uh, left side is really thick compared to the right. Uh, we did pick up a Bryson Stott. I saw this one going off and this is to 25, 22 of 25, uh, BGS 9.5 of a uh, up and comer autograph limited. I think I paid 17, 18 bucks for this. It's gonna cost more than that, grade it. We get, did pick up a BCCG 9 of John Elway rookie. Um, the card looks pretty good. It's probably a PSA 8. Um, I ended up paying right at 100 for this. Um, I think it's fine. Uh, this is just the whole, we'll probably crack it at some point and submit to PSA if they ever get their stuff together. Uh, we also got an Acuna update. Um, this is complete sets, I'm sorry, the complete sets Acuna, uh, PSA 10. This is looking really good now. I'm pretty sure I paid 45 bucks for this. Um, pretty awesome investment actually for a PSA 10 Acuna rookie. Uh, we did get our Soto rookie. Uh, this is a cool card, love this card. I'll hold on to this card forever. Don't care what it does. And I wanted to get one of the CSG um, slabs just to you know get it and look at it. And I saw some going off. Panini Instant. I wasn't too aware of this. Um, but the print runs are really, really low when you go to PSA. Uh, Pop Reports. Even though it's CSG. But the print runs are really, really low. And having a Herbert rookie at a 9.5. That's pretty, pretty freaking awesome. All right. What we're here for. This is uh, from Tops. Um... This thing is going to be amazing. So let's just get into it. Um, let's see if I can get into this. All right. There we go. I've been watching, waiting for this thing to come to pop through. This card is going to be beautiful. I thought they'd one touch this, but I guess that's not a thing. All right. Let's see the stickers on the top there. Let's see front, back. That's the front. All right. This is a Luis Roberts Gold Auto out of Tops Update. Um. Just taking a quick look. Obviously, it's the first time I'm seeing this card. Sticker auto, which kind of stinks. I would have hoped for on card, but I get it. Um, 16 out of 50 is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I want to rip it out right now and look at it, but... 
I'm looking at this corner right here. It looks like it's a little dinged. But let's see if we can get this thing to sit right in here. Mm, it's not gonna sit right. So let's see if we can get in here without manipulating this too much. Pulled this out of a blaster. No, it was a Mega. A Topps Chrome update. Put that there. Well, that's not wanting to move. Let's see if I can get in here without damaging the card. I don't like the f the freaking penny sleeve they used. It's kind of dinged up a little bit. Anyways, that is a beautiful card. We're going to re-sleeve this thing in a second. Oh, just a beautiful card. Nice hit out of a box. That's for dang sure. All right, guys. If you like this stuff, like I said, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. We'll try to put more of this stuff out as we get stuff in. We got a lot of redemptions that are supposed to be getting back. Um, a couple more big bangers like this as well. Uh, hopefully they start coming in sooner or later. But until next time, guys, play nice, play hard. We'll see you on the flip side. Peace out.